Hello everyone, welcome to my chemistry channel, BL Dasa and Sweet in Chemistry. Also, I want to welcome the students of 11th and 12th uh, to the chapter topic Lewis and the Renan structure with the formula chart. This is very important for class 11th and 12th. Now, the part 7 that is carbon dioxide. Now, here I want to explain uh, what, is, uh, what are the Lewis dust structure of carbon dioxide and what is the resonance structure and resonance hybrid of carbon dioxide. First of all, uh, we will see what, are the, what is the valence electron of carbon dioxide. Carbon has valence electron 4 and oxygen have, has valence electron 6. So that is why total valence electrons of carbon dioxide, carbon is 4, oxygen is 6 into 2, 12, total is 16. That means 16 is the number of valence electrons of carbon dioxide. I hope it is clear, valence electron of carbon dioxide is 16. And after that, we will see which one the least electronegative element in that uh, molecule. Now, carbon is the least electronegative element compared to oxygen. And so, what should be? It should be in center. Which is the least electronegative atom that should be in center? So, in center, carbon, this side one oxygen, this side one oxygen, I want to put. Now, put a pair of electron between, uh, between the atoms. Between atoms, you will put a pair of electron to show one chemical bond. That means a chemical bond is formed between this carbon and oxygen, this carbon and oxygen that is only possible by two electron which is by sharing of electron forms covalent bond. That means between this carbon and oxygen one pair of electron I will put and this between this I will put one electron pair. Now see here one electron pair that is uh, forms bond that is covalent bond and here also one pair of electron between this carbon and this carbon. But what about the other valence electron? Only 4 are used and remaining 12 electrons. And that 12 electrons you will arrange in this way that it should satisfy the octet rule. If you satisfy the octet rule, see here, uh, this is 2, 4, to 6, to 8, to 10, 12, 14, 16. That means 16, 7 valence electrons are here uh, that is surrounded with carbon dioxide. Then after that we will see whether the oxygen satisfy octet rule or not. Similarly, carbon and this oxygen whether they are satisfying the octet rule. Now see this oxygen. First you will see this oxygen. What happens in this oxygen? There are six, six pair of electrons which is called non-bonding electron because they are not used in the formation of bond. Now only this pair that is surrounded by green color. This is called bonding electron. Now see between carbon and this oxygen one, uh, one pair of bonding electron, three pairs of non-bonding electron and totally when you see the oxygen is satisfied by eight because two, 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 four pairs are there. One pair is bonding and three pairs are non-bonding that becomes to eight. That means this oxygen satisfies octet rule. Then come to this oxygen, first oxygen. Here see, here also one pair of bonding electron that is surrounded with green color and three are non-bonding electrons. Three pairs, so it's not three. Three pairs are non-bonding electron. Now see what happened. If you see, uh, check this oxygen, it also satisfies octet rule. See, three pairs of non-bonding, one pair of bonding, total four pairs, that is equal to eight electron. So it is also satisfied octet rule, but because about that carbon. What happens about carbon? Carbon see here two pair bonding electrons are there but there is no non-bonding electrons. So here carbon has four electrons which is not satisfying octet rule. It is four electron less than eight. That means four here less than eight. That is why it is only four electrons that is not satisfy octet rule. Since it is not satisfy octet rule, we will try a uh, different arrangement of electron, different arrangement of electron, also transfer of electron. How other uh, Lewis structure possible? This is called skeleton structure because this is the first structure we are try to arrange the electrons according to octet rule and this is called skeleton structure and other structures we will try whether other structures are possible or not. Again see valence electron 16, the 16 electrons are arranged in such a way that every atom, each atom should satisfy octet rule and also the carbon with the least electronegative that should be at center and here one pair of 
burning electron present between this carbon oxygen, this carbon oxygen, so that it forms a bond here and also form a bond here. And other are satisfy arrange in such a manner to satisfy uh, octet too. Then we will see other uh, Lewis structure, what are the possible Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. Now, from the skeleton structure of carbon dioxide, we find the Lewis structure 1, 2 and 3. Now, this is the skeleton structure where the carbon is not satisfied by the octet group. Only these and these two oxygens are satisfied. That is why we try to move this electron, transfer this pair of electrons from oxygen as non bonding towards to the uh, oxygen between carbon and oxygen as bonding electron. Again, see this pair of electrons from the oxygen transfer to here between oxygen and carbon act that will act as bonding pair of bonding electrons. Similarly, from this uh, oxygen pair of electron moves and comes to here between carbon and oxygen as bonding pair of bonding electron. Then what is the structure? What would be the real structure here? Now since it transferred to here as a bonding electron and here it is a bonding electron. So now the bonding number of bonding electrons are different and here two pair of bonding electron between our first oxygen and the carbon that is and two on a non-bonding electron pair present that is four non-bonding electron four bonding electron for this oxygen one and for this oxygen two here two pair of bonding electron that is four bonding electrons and four non-bonding electrons and for carbon here you can see there are four this side four bonding electron this side four bonding electron that means total eight bonding electrons where here also there is no non-bonding electron now you can see this oxygen the satisfy octet rule 4 6 to 8 for carbon 4 plus 4 8 and for this oxygen 4 plus 4 8 that means here carbon and the two oxygens are satisfied by octet rule and after that we will see formal charge of structure 1, structure 2, structure 3 and we will find the best Lewis structure and also we will find the resonance structure. Now, this first structure, this one, first Lewis structure, this one, and here we will see how other possible uh, Lewis structure possible or not. Yes, here one pair of electron moves from this to from this oxygen as non bonding to here as bonding electron between two carbon and oxygen. And here also, this pair of electron as a bonding electron between carbon and oxygen moves transfer to here oxygen as non-bonding. Again, see here non-bonding changes to bonding electron, the bonding electron changes to non-bonding electron. Then what would be the possible Lewis structure that is called a second structure? Now, since transfer from oxygen to here, there is a three pair bonding electron. 3 pair bonding electron and here since 1 pair of electron transfer from uh, the bonding electron to non-bonding electron so 1 pair bonding electron and 3 pair non-bonding electron that means you can say first oxygen there are 2 only 2 non-bonding electron and 3 pair bonding that means 6 bonding electron and 2 non-bonding electron from oxygen 1 and similarly oxygen 2, there are 6 non-bonding electrons, 2 bonding electrons for oxygen. Similarly for carbon and here 3 plus 1, 4 pair of bonding electrons, no non-bonding electron, only 4 pair of bonding electron that is 8 electrons for carbon, 8 electrons for this oxygen and 8 electrons for this oxygen, that uh, second oxygen. That means here all are satisfied by 8 electrons, that is octet rule. Here also first structure so satisfied by octet rule. If any other possible structure uh, is there or not, you can see. Again, if I want to transfer the electron, this is the second structure. If I want to transfer the electron as a bonding electron towards oxygen, as non-bonding electron and similarly other pair is bonding electron between carbon and oxygen 
and then transfer to oxygen as a non-burning electron, then water will be the region. Similarly, for the second oxygen, you can see the non-burning pair electron moves towards here between carbon and second oxygen as a burning electron. Similarly, non-burning uh, pair of electrons from car oxygen transfer to carbon as bonding electron, then what would be the result? Again, see two pair bonding electron transfer to the oxygen as a non bonding, or two pair of non bonding electron transfer to uh, this carbon and oxygen between carbon and oxygen as bonding electron. Then what would be the result? That is called a third structure. See here, oxygen now six non bonding electron and one pair bonding electron that means two bonding electron and six non bonding electron for oxygen one similarly for oxygen two only two two non bonding electron that is one pair non bonding electron and three pair bonding electron means six bonding electron for this oxygen and two non bonding electron for the oxygen then about carbon Carbon C, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 bonding pair electron. That means 4 into 2. 8 bonding electron. Now there is no non bonding electron. Again, see here 1 bonding electron, 1 pair bonding electron, 3 pair non bonding electron. For carbon, 4 pair bonding electron. For this oxygen, 3 pair bonding electron, 1 pair non bonding electron. That means here there are three Lewis dot structure possible as 1, 2 and 3. That means here what happens? 1, 2, 3. There are three Lewis structure. Now see this is one where here you can uh, put two bonding electron. That means here you can write like this also. And here this one. And, and second one here three pair. 3 pair bonding electron and 1 pair also bonding electron between two carbon oxygen. And for third only 1 pair bonding electron and 3 pair bonding electron between these two carbon and oxygen. Now what I can see again for first structure and between the carbon and first oxygen there are two pair bonding electron. From between carbon second oxygen two pair bonding electron second uh, structure there are three pair non bonding electron for oxygen one and carbon and from uh, between carbon and second oxygen one pair bonding electron similarly here just opposite to this second third only uh, reverse that one and here between oxygen one First oxygen and carbon, there is one pair bonding electron, and between carbon and oxygen, second oxygen, there are three pair bonding electron. After that, we will find by the help of formal chart which is, which is the best Lewis structure and what is the resonance structure of carbon dioxide and resonance highway of carbon dioxide. So here you can So it is the uh, Lewis uh, dot structure of carbon dioxide. Later we will find formal charge of carbon and oxygen for each structure. There are three Lewis structures of carbon dioxide. And for three Lewis structure, we will calculate formal charge of carbon and two oxygen. Out of formal charge, we can say which is the best structure. And out of Lewis structures, we can say what would be resonance structures and resonance hybrid. Now, formal charge uh, that means that is valence electron minus non bonding electrons and bonding electrons by 2. What is formal charge? That is valence electron minus non bonding electron minus bonding electron divided by 2. Now structure 1, this is the structure. For this oxygen, there are two pair of bonding electron and two pair of non-bonding electron. That is why you will calculate oxygen 1. For oxygen 1, 6 is the valence electron and 4 is the uh, non-bonding electron and this 4 is the bonding electron that is divided by 2. So the result is 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0. That means here the red uh, surrounding the red line which is covered that is uh, your uh, formal charge. Similarly, the, uh, the ox formal charge of oxygen 2, formal charge of oxygen 2 here uh, how many bonding electron? How many non-bonding electron? 
burning electron 4 and non burning electron also 4. That means you are formulating saying that 6 is the valence electron, minus 4 is the non burning electron, minus 4 that is bonding electrons by 2. The value comes to 0. 6 minus 4, 2 minus 2 equal to uh, 0. Now, FCF carbon, formal charge of carbon. See, here, uh, from valence electron 4, a non-bonding electron is not there, 0. And minus how many bonding electron? 1, 2, 3, 4 pair. 4 pair means 8 electrons divided by 2. So, it should be 0. Now, here it is 0. That means in structure 1, oxygen is 0 formal charge. Carbon also 0 formal charge. And this oxygen also 0 formal charge. Are you clear? Again, see here, uh, according to formula, uh, this oxygen 1 having formal charge 0, oxygen 2 having 0, and also carbon having 0. And first one valence electron, then non bonding electron, then bonding electron by 2. Then come to structure 2. I hope it is clear now structure 2. In structure 2, if you say this is the uh, green color that is bonding electron and here this is non-bonding electron. That means for this oxygen 1, how many bonding electrons are there? 1, 2, 3 pair that means 6 bonding electrons. And how many non-bonding electrons? 1 pair that is 2 electron. Non-bonding, again see 2 non-bonding electrons and 3 pair, that is 6 bonding electron for oxygen 1. For carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4 pair bonding electron, that means only bonding electrons, that is 8. There is no non-bonding electron for carbon. And for this oxygen 2, here how many, how many non-bonding electron? The non-bonding electron, 3 pair, 1, 2, 3 pair and that is why 6 is non-bonding electron and 1 pair bonding electron that is 2 bonding electron for oxygen 2 and for carbon you can say there are 1, 2, 3, 4 pair bonding electron that is bonding electron is 8. Now you can see in 3 structures all are satisfied by octet rule. Oxygen also 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8 that is oxygen 8 satisfied. Carbon also 4 pair bonding electron that is 8 satisfied. Oxygen also 2, bond, 2 pair bonding electron, 2 pair non-bonding electron that is 8 satisfied. For structure 2 also, this oxygen say this oxygen 6 bonding electron, 2 non-bonding that is 8 satisfied. For carbon, 4 pair non, um, sorry, bonding electron that is 8 and this oxygen 1 pair bonding electron and 3 pair non-bonding electron that is also 8. Means structure 1 and 2 all the carbon and oxygen atoms are satisfied by octet rule. And similarly you have calculated that you have calculated that uh, what is the formal charge of uh, oxygen 1, oxygen 2 and carbon in two case structure, structure 1 and structure 2. After drawing the structure 3 and calculating structures for 3 formal charge then you can say which is the best structure then after that you can say what is the resonance structure. Here you will see structure 3. Already I have explained structure 1 and structure 2 that is for carbon dioxide. Now structure 3 where we calculate uh, formal charge of carbon and 2 oxygens. Now see this is the structure 3 where between this carbon and oxygen 1 uh, that is uh, uh, how many bonding electrons and how many non-bonding electrons. Here 2 bonding electrons that is 1 pair bonding electron and 3 pair non-bonding electron that is non-bonding electron 6 for this is oxygen 1. This is oxygen 1 where you can find 2 bonding electron and 6 non-bonding electrons. Is it clear? Then come to carbon or you can say this is oxygen 2. Then oxygen 2 what happened? Here how many non-bonding electrons? Only two non-bonding electrons and how many bonding electrons? One, two, three pair, there is six non-bonding electrons. So, and for carbon here, bonding electrons only four pair. 
that means one, two, three, four pair. That is why there is, there is no non-bonding electron, only bonding electrons are there. Yes, if you hear the oxygen satisfy octet rule, this carbon and this oxygen will satisfy octet rule. See here, this is the oxygen one. One, two, three non-bonding pair. One is bonding pair, the total electron eight. Similarly for carbon, this is bonding electron four pair, that is eight satisfied. This is oxygen two, where bonding electron three pair six, and non-bonding electron 2, 8, that is plus 2, 8. So, oxygen also satisfies octet rule. So, that means here, all the three atoms, carbon to oxygen, satisfy octet rule. And now, here, formal charge of oxygen 1. We know the valence electron of uh, oxygen is 6 minus, what is 6? Non-bonding electrons. See here, 2, 2, 2. Non-bonding electron 6 and minus here 2 by 2 that is bonding electron 2 so 2 by 2 that is equal to minus 1 so i have written in red color that is minus 1 which is formal charge of oxygen 1 similarly oxygen 2 here oxygen 2 how many bonding electrons 1 2 3 3 pair means 6 electrons and how many non-bonding electron only 2 so what is the formula valence electron minus non-bonding electron 2 minus bonding electron 6 by 2 that becomes to plus 1 so here also i have written uh, that is the uh, plus 1 in the formal charge of oxygen 2 then come to formal charge of carbon 4 what is the valence electron 4 and 0 that is there is uh, there is no uh, very sorry sorry for carbon valence electron 4 and there is no non-bonding electron that is 0 and how many bonding electron 4 pairs 4 pairs in 1 2 3 4 4 pairs so 8 by 2 that is equal to 0 that means here you can say oxygen 1 with minus 1 carbon having 0 and oxygen having plus 1 formal charge respectively. Here that is structure 1, structure 2, structure 3. Both the 3 are clear and that is why I want to write the structure 1, structure 2 and structure 3. Three structures that Lewis structures of carbon dioxide. That means here what to do? 1, 2, 3. In one again I want to say uh, here uh, for oxygen 1 there are two non-bonding pair electron and two um, sorry there are two bonding pair electrons and there are two uh, non-bonding pair electrons and for carbon four bonding pair electrons and for this oxygen two, two plus two four non-bonding Four non-bonding electrons and four bonding electrons. Again, I want to say for oxygen one, this is one oxygen. This is two oxygen. Oxygen one for structure one. Here four non-bonding electron, four bonding electron, and here for much are zero. Similarly for carbon, here there is no non-bonding electron. And only four pairs of bonding electrons, that is eight electrons, bonding electrons. So here the zero from a charge, what I have calculated before. And here oxygen, two pair non-bonding electrons, that means two pair mean four non-bonding electrons. Similarly, four bonding electrons for oxygen two. And formal charge here, that is zero. So here you say all formal charges are zero. Then we compare to other in such second structure where for oxygen one and uh, that is uh, only bond, non-bonding electron two and bonding electron three pair that means six electrons that is bonding electrons. And for carbon here uh, two bonding electron this side and and four, six bonding electron this side that means four pair bonding electrons and here this oxygen 2 this oxygen 2 here uh, six six non-bonding electron and one pair that is two bonding electrons so here the formal charges for oxygen 1 plus 1 formal charges of carbon 0 and formal charges of oxygen 2 that is minus 1 similarly structure 3 
In structure 3, you can say oxygen here, 3 uh, non bonding electron, this is oxygen 1, non bonding electrons and 2 bonding electrons in the form of charge minus 1, which is red in color. And now this carbon, 4 pair bonding electron, 8 electron that is bonding electron and there is no non bonding electron and formal charge that is 0. And this oxygen you see, non bonding electron 2 and bonding electron 3 pair will 6. That means here after calculation it is observed that is formal charge plus 1. Now you compare this 1 structure, 2 structure and 3 structure. Then what happened here? Here all the formal charges are 0 and here 1, 2, 3 all the structures they satisfy octet rule. So regarding to octet there is no problem and according to formal charge this is all a 0 value but where in here minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and 0 are there. That means here if, when you compare this by the formal charge this is the best structure and stable structure which is structure 1 is the best structure. Now when you see uh, 1, 2, 3, there are 3 structures. Uh, what would be resonance structure? Only 3 structures shows resonance 1. So, after that you can put also this is resonance structure of carbon dioxide. Now, now we are converted to if I put this sign of the resonance structure. And, and this one is the best structure because stable. Why? Because formal charge is of oxygen, 2 oxygens and carbon is 0. I hope it is clear. Now see the effort to formal charge. You say the one structure, the best structure, because all are having zero value formal charge, and these two are minor structure. Now, if you want to write regional structure in other way, this one also you can write by bond formula because there are two bonds. There are two pair of bonding electron mean two bonds. Two pair bonding electron mean bond and non bonding electron I have shown here but bonding electron by bonds resonance sign then here also three bonding pair electron and that is why three bonds and two non bonding electron represented by like this now here one pair bonding electron that is formation of bond one bond and six non bonding electron represented like this resonance sign and third Third, what happens? There are six uh, uh, non bonding electrons represented like this, and bonding electron by bond, one bond, and three bonding um, pair, pair of bonding electrons, so three bonds, and oxygen to non bonding electron represented by like this. So now, resonance structure also you can write like this, and resonance structure also you can write like this, but uh, this is, I hope, it is uh, very easy to write. and. Uh, uh, this, is, this, this is the resonance structure of carbon dioxide. Uh, I hope it is clear. Resonance structure of carbon dioxide. If you want to resonance hybrid, there are after combination of all. If you want to resonance hybrid of carbon dioxide, you can write like this. And if you see here it is a linear molecule. The force of attraction, this side and this side, that tensor. So here this is the linear structure. So you should write like this. This is the resonance hybrid of carbon dioxide. Again, see three structure I have written here. That lastly, we can conclude that this is resonance structure of three Lewis structures. And this is the best structure. Resonance structure of carbon dioxide, you can write like this. And after that, resonance hybrid of carbon dioxide, that is linear structures. That is why the structure is like this resonance hybrid of carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching my video that is uh, regional structure and Lewis structure carbon dioxide in coming video i will explain that means it is sulfur dioxide what is the resonance and Lewis structure of sulfur dioxide i hope you will subscribe my channel bl das short and sweet in chemistry and thanks to all